starting our parts of sentences series and we're going to do the subject and the predicate. So here we go. Let's define subject. Subject is the noun or the pronoun that the sentence is about. The subject answers who or what and it comes before the verb in the sentence. In our example, cowboys herd for a living. Excuse me, cowboys herd cattle for a living. Cowboys is the subject. So there are two types of subjects. The simple subject and the complete subject. The simple subject refers to the noun or pronoun that the sentence is about while the complete subject includes the simple subject and all of its modifiers. There is also something known as the compound subject. The compound subject is putting two subjects together for one verb. In a compound sub subject more than one noun or pronoun is used as a dub double subject for the same clause. For example, English and science are my favorite subjects. Notice in the example that English and subjects, excuse me, and science are joined by the word and. Because it is joined by the word and, that makes the compound subject plural, which means it has to have a plural verb. In the second example, Amy or Emma is here. The, the conjunction is or combining Amy and Emma However, since it is a singular conjunction, it, it makes the subject singular, which means the verb would be singular. So that brings us to subject-verb agreement. Every sentence we know is about something or some things. All nouns and pronouns are either singular or plural. If a sentence contains a plural subject, it must be accompanied by a plural verb. If a singular subject, if it has a singular subject, it must be followed by a singular verb. And that seems quite simple. However, sometimes we get confused with words like group. Uh, collective nouns can can end up being are usually singular, um, but appear plural. And so a lot of people make that mistake. Um, so, if it is a plural subject, plural verb. Singular subject, singular verb. The predicate. The predicate is the verb in the sentence as well as any other words in the sentence that are about the subject. There are two types of predicates. The simple predicate and the complete predicate. The simple predicate is the, just is the verb only. Abby went to the store to buy groceries. Went would be the simple predicate. It is also the ver the main verb of the sentence. The complete predicate is everything that is about the subject. So Abby went to the store to buy groceries. Went to the store to buy groceries is the predicate. Compound verbs. So the compound verbs are two or more verbs that have the same subject and they're joined by a conjunction such as and or or. The example we have here, she plays hockey and runs track. Plays and runs are verbs that both describe what she is doing. So she is the subject plays and runs is a compound verb. So that's your parts of a sentence uh, lesson on subject and predicates. Um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson today and I will see you again next time.